Hi everybody, I hope you're well. This video is requested by Louisa Van Sluten. In this video I'm going to be talking about the best ways to train your horses. So if you're looking to talk about blupping or how to blup faster and stuff like that, have a look at those particular videos on that I have on my channel. But I am going to kind of talk about this in more the mass kind of training of several horses. So one of the things that I started to do a while ago was to train a large amount of horses. And one of the things I found was quite effective was if I buy horses that have had a little bit of training started so I buy horses with a certain amount of skills so I put them all in a big farm as you can see there is a lot of horses in there I think there's close to 800 horses in there so what I then do is I pick a, a section of them so I'd maybe click on 20 of them and then I move them into the first uh, what I sort of call like training farm so I put them into this one and this is the one where I haven't this is where they're like they're starting one. So f just for example, I'm actually going to click on, I'm going to sort these by age for a moment. So I'll just click on age. So what I then would I start to do is I go onto the horse and I start training forest rides first. And I do this every day and I just do it periodically. Like every day I come in and I train the forest rides and then I know that this horse eventually will be finishing forest rides. Now whenever I find that this horse is finishing forest rides once um, this would actually stop getting skills then what I do is I rename it mountain um, because I need to start doing the mountain rides so what happens whenever I get to that point I move it into this tab which is the mountain tab so the horses are all called mountain and whenever they're in the mountain tab the only thing that they do is mountain rides and when their mountain rides are finished so I do the mountain rides every single day now this will tell, take several days maybe a couple of weeks but I do that every single day and uh, once I get all of them done in mountain then they move into another farm which is HIT rides done so this means that the rides are done I've done the forest and I've done the mountain now the reason I don't do beach is because beach don't add any skills no point in doing them so once they move in here I rename them comp filler and what I mean by this is because this is the stage where I have to train them and it's also the stage where I start to do competitions with them so I do specific I want to do all the training now because I'm not trying to bluff these horses I'm just trying to train them and rise increase their skills so they come in here and I keep working on them until I go the whole way from stamina you know down to speed now some of them I buy and some of them have their training done some of them have their rides done so I would put them in the appropriate farms for that but I kind of the way I'm thinking about training these horses and the best kind of way is that I have stages like kind of like a production line that they start I always start with the forest with all of them once that horse is done in forest it moves into the mountain uh, farm and it does mountain rides and once it's done those mountain rides it moves into the last one which is where I cover the training and the competitions the reason for this is because training is so visual and you can so instantly see when the training is done and then at the very very end then I start to work on those uh, competitions and I start to enter them in competitions and then whenever that's all done and whenever they're bold um, then I move them into a different farm which I call the bolded one so this is all the horses that have been bolded and they're finishing everything so if I just click on one for example here you can see that it has everything done um, everything was completed there now obviously sometimes with a lot of these horses you get a health penalty because sometimes they do go under um, I try to avoid that but sometimes I buy horses that had lost health before I got them or had, had got a health penalty before that but this is kind of the way that I think it's, it's easier to train horses on a mass scale if you're doing quite a lot of them it isn't what I would do for blopping if I'm doing blopping I focus purely on that one horse and I try to get that horse done in about 20 minutes or less depending on how fast I want to do it sometimes I could sit and just blop for 40 minutes because I'm not in a rush and I just kind of want to take my time but if you're training, trying to train horses in a mass scale I think that's the best way to do it is to start with everything if you're looking them to be bolted in all six skills obviously if you're, you're if you're blopping if you're looking to train say for example a set of alkatikis just for example you'd want to go and check their genetics and then you would set that production line to how to train Alkatigis in their best three skills in the most efficient way so you would only focus on doing rides and training and competitions that got those three skills and you wouldn't worry about the other ones that's just for example if you wanted to do that so that's kind of I hope that was helpful that's I wasn't really sure where what to do with this video but I thought maybe I would talk about that because I think some people like to train horses on mass and they're not particularly worried about uh, specific 
um, blopping, um, you know, of just maybe one or two horses. So thank you to Louisa Van Sluten and hope you love your day. Bye guys.